Hey man, you in that tournament? No, nah, I'm just out here fun fishing, man. Hey, well, you got anything to measure fish? I got a squeaker in here and I got no measuring board. Yeah, I have a couple of boards you can check out. Which one are you guys using? Man, I don't even know. Um, probably a flat board. You got any of those? Well, a couple of Willie Go boards. You got the Willie Go board with the belly board. Got the Willie Go board flat. Measure up to 18 inches. Then we also got a couple boards from Extra Edge. They come in 15, 18, and 25 in blue, black, or red. And why don't you try out the, the Willie Go the belly board? Cool, man. That'll work. Well, I'm gonna have to weigh this thing too, man. It's my smallest fish, so I'm probably gonna have to tag it. You got anything that I, I can tag it with? I got nothing in here, man. I borrowed this guy's boat and he's got nothing in it. Yeah, I got a couple options for you, man. You got the easy coal system, made of nylon rope, so it floats in the level, real easy to find them. Also, it comes with the, uh, the regular pins. You go ahead and pin them right through the lip. Uh, it comes in a single set like this one here. You can also get a team set for your team tournaments. Also got the ones from the tournament tags. They come in a single set or a team set as well. You can use them on any scale and uh, it comes a bunch of different colors. And you can also just write down the weight of each fish and then wipe it off no problem. And when you call out, you can just change them no problem. We also got the, uh, if you got a call and write scale, Got the Colm Wright buoys here. Come kind of colored for the Colm Wright scale to match up and synchronize with that. Here, why don't you try, here, try these guys out, man. Bag them way board, huh? Yeah, this will work. Cool, so I just put the weights down on here, huh? That'll work. You got anything to weigh them with? I don't even have a scale. I got a few scales for you. Got the Colmrite scale. It's probably one of the first uh, high-end digital scales to come out. Pretty cool scales. You can weigh each fish, and after you weigh your fifth fish, it'll or you weigh your sixth fish, it'll tell you which one's the lightest fish to call out, and you can just swap out the tags, and you're good to go. Does it all for you. Uh, also got one from Berkeley. Same kind of thing, just from Berkeley. Weigh your fish and it'll call the sixth one for you. And also, over from X-Tools. A uh, lot like the column right, uh, but it has a number system instead of a color system. One really cool thing about this is that when you drop this thing in the water, it actually floats. And I've actually had one of these guys submerged in my boat in water for about two days. And I pulled it out, dried it off, and it still works, so they're pretty cool. And why don't you try out my x tool scale? Thanks. No problem. Cool, that'll work, man. Thanks. Well, now I got that. When I get to the weigh-in, man, I got nothing to bring these fish to the dock with. You got anything to cover that? He's really got nothing. I got a few bags you can check out, man. This one here is a carry bag from Bagum. Pretty cool bags. They come in clear or black. You know, it's like a standard weigh bag. Um, these guys are on about 15 bucks, so they're pretty economical. Also got a few bags from Just Keepers. Same thing, they come in clear white and the black. Uh, one cool thing about these bags, I really like, a lot of times when you're carrying your fish up to live oil, you drop them, or to the weigh-in, sorry. If you drop them, fish fall out. This guy, no longer a problem. Got a zipper on top, put the fish in there, they're good and secure, and they won't fall out. Here, try this guy, because you'll probably drop your fish. Cool. All right, that'll work, man. Oh, it's got a zipper on it, too. All right, nice. Hey, wait a second, man. Uh, try this guy. If you're going to be weighing those fish, you use a bass bag. It helps a lot. Uh, makes you, when you're trying to weigh the fish, a lot of times they're moving around and stuff. You use this guy, and the fish don't move around, and you get real consistent weight each time. Check it out. Cool, thanks, man. I'll be using this a lot, hopefully. Man, that scale said two of those fish are exactly the same. I don't even know what to do in that situation. I got just a thing for you, man. No problem. Check out this balance beam from Extra Edge. Obviously, it comes with two clips on one side, a little T handle so you can hold it right in the middle. Also, comes with a level here so you can easily tell which fish is heavier than the other one. If you're going to be doing it though, use this one I got here. I got those bag and bass bags, each one. Put the fish in each one. Don't have to worry about sticking them through the lips. And it also keeps the fish from moving around. You put them down tail first, they're not going to move. Try it out. Cool, man. I'm on it with this. Well, I think that'll about do it. 
Probably gonna get out of here, go try and catch some more fish before this tournament's over. Hey man, hold up. Uh, it's pretty hot here today, man. You need to keep those fish uh, live, bring them in live, otherwise you're gonna get, gonna get penalized. Uh, check out this rejuvenate stuff here. It's pretty good stuff. You put one capful in for every 20 gallons. And uh, if you're using recirculating live well, as soon as uh, the blue is gone, just add another half capful, and it keeps the fish uh, spunky in the day and keeps them alive. Rejuvenate, huh? Yeah, I heard about this stuff. I'm probably gonna need it. It's pretty hot out here. All right, thanks a lot, man. How'd you do, man? Actually, not too bad, man. I ended up in third. Couldn't done without your help, man. Really appreciate it. Here's all your stuff back. Thanks a lot. No By the way, whose boat was that? Some guy named Corey, man. That guy killed me. There's a mess in there. There's nothing in there, and everything was everywhere. Yeah, that's pretty standard, I've heard. Thanks a lot, man. I'll definitely be stopping in Tackle Warehouse, pick up some stuff, too. Sure. All right, man. Take it easy. Hey, you too, man. See you later.